On this week's show, Jeff Johnston takes us to Kansas as he visits New Horizons RV, who makes ultra-luxurious, custom-built fifth-wheel trailers. Then, we join Michelle and Lori from Two Gals and a Dog in Arizona as they introduce us to some RVing women who are devoted to rescuing border collies. Later in the show, Mark and Don Polk from RV Education 101 teach us all about tire pressure gauge accuracy. These stories and more on this week's Rolling On TV. Rolling On TV is brought to you by Carefree of Colorado, celebrating 45 years of RV awning innovation. Closed and Spanish captioning, where available, is sponsored by Jayco. At Jayco, we've been making family dreams come true since 1968. The high-end, full-timer trailer business is a niche RV market that's always been the specialty of New Horizons RV. This Junction City, Kansas-based manufacturer has been building top-quality handcrafted fifth wheels since 1989. It's an interesting company with a standout philosophy about its product and catering to its customers' needs and desires. Let's begin our look at New Horizons RV with a few words from company co-owner Cole Brockenecke. Uh New Horizons RV was uh, founded in 1989 by a man by the name of Harold Johnson. Uh, Harold started the company, uh, the custom building approach, built a very high quality product. In 2002, my father Phil Brockenecke purchased the company from Harold and, and his family and um, we've owned it ever since, um, as a family, still ran, operated by us. Um, we've always concentrated on very high quality. Uh, our family started injecting the aesthetics, creature comforts, and all the things that people are accustomed to today while maintaining a high quality infrastructure. We build essentially two lines. Uh, our Majestic line is kind of our flagship. It's our custom built. 32 all the way up to 48 feet in length, um, no slides up to six. And we're currently sitting in our Majestic show model. Uh, we're really excited, however, about introducing uh, a fully reimagined and re-engineered Summit line. Our new direction with it, uh, I think will make it more accessible and more affordable for our, for our customers. We've, we've engineered essentially set floor plans, which takes a lot of the cost out of building. Uh, however, we build them with the same structure, the same quality as our Majestic, but we just we have about a dozen floor plans to choose from within that series. The, our facility here is right at about 42,000 square feet. Uh, it was constructed in 2008. We built it for the specific purpose of building our fifth wheels. We employ about 30 to 35 people out here in the shop. Up front, we've got administration, so we're, we're roughly a 40 to 50 uh, person company. About two years ago, uh, we hired a fellow by the name of Brian Tillett, who's had a lot of industry experience to be our director of operations. Two months ago, I uh, had a little corporate resolution to name Brian Tillett our CEO, um, and he brings a wealth of knowledge, experience to what we're doing. Um, and it's, it's really showing up here in the last, you know, actually since day one he's been here. Yeah, selling Factory Direct um, has its benefits and has its drawbacks. Um, you know, probably the only drawback that pops into my mind is product exposure. You know, we don't have a bunch of rigs around the country on dealership lots. However, all the benefits, in my opinion, outweigh the drawbacks. We're able to control the customer experience from start to finish, um, you know, from the first exposure all the way to actually building the rig for our customer, we have that that one-on-one -on -one relationship that allows us to really fulfill our customers' needs. The process always starts in the welding shop where frames are built to fit each trailer's specific needs rather than fitting a trailer to an existing commercial frame. Skilled craftsmen complete the work on every product.
Other workers cut and assembled the aluminum components that make up the walls, floor, and roof structures. Well, it looks like you have your welding shop pretty well organized back there. We and do. What's, what's next in the factory? Where well, do we go from here? Here in this area is where we uh, assemble all of our slide rooms. And right now we're about to lift this slide room up to start assembling cabinetry into it. Oh, okay. Yeah. We've got cranes in very important areas um, just to make it safe and yeah. keep people from getting hurt. Very so. cool. All right, so this looks like your lamination area? This is. Uh, we employ a pressure rolled lamination technique. Mm -hmm. Uh, very important, we use high density foam insulation okay. that goes everywhere. Mm -hmm. uh, what I'm holding on to is just a cut out of our window. Yeah. Take very simple. Yeah. Exterior okay. fiberglass, interior wallboard, inch and a half blue high density foam. Okay. Uh, one of the really big benefits of that, it never settles. Coming up after the break, we're going to take a closer look at how New Horizons RVs are built and most important, you get an exclusive first look at a brand new New Horizons product. No one has seen it yet but you, so stay tuned. Simply put, Thetford's AquaCam has outsold all its competitors combined because it's the strongest holding tank deodorant available. It provides the strongest odor control around the clock in all temperatures and conditions. It quickly liquefies waste and tissue and is 100% biodegradable. AquaChem, the industry standard for 50 years. For more information, visit Thetford.com. AquaChem, another great product from Thetford. We didn't make the majestic mountains, or the rugged terrain, or paint the night sky, but we make it possible to see it all. Road Trek, America's number one selling touring coach for over 25 years. Built with quality so you can sit back, relax, and enjoy the destinations you want. Enjoy the peace of mind that only a road trek can provide. Welcome back to Rolling On TV. Let's continue our tour of the New Horizons RV factory and get an exclusive first look at the company's new Summit trailer. A bird's eye view from the catwalk provides an overall appreciation for the New Horizons build process. Attention to detail and care in building the best possible product are integral to the New Horizons company philosophy. We've got a really great core of guys here at New Horizons. Uh, our cabinet shop alone uh, boasts roughly 50 years of combined experience between only five guys. Uh, one of our lead men back there is actually the son of Harold Johnson who started the company. So he's, he's been with us for a long time. Um, our draftsman who designs our units for us, uh, his name's Frank and he's actually been here since day one all the way back in 1989. So uh, he's had his hand involved in, in designing and building every single New Horizons on the road today. Here in this first station, we'll get all of our base plumbing, electrical, everything that's hidden under that floor gets installed. Then the floor has to go on. And then where we're standing now, Jeff, yeah, we have to get all of our base cabinets. They have okay. to go in first. So everything you see up here, essentially think of it this way. Anything not in a slide room yeah. has to get okay. installed before we put walls on. Okay. Uh, and then next. It, yep, exactly. It just kind of gets built from the inside out. You see the walls are set. Mm -hmm. uh, here in a few days we'll also be getting the, the roof set. Um, so it's just like kind of keeps the, getting put together. The gaskets are all in for the slide outs. Yeah, so you're getting pretty yep. close to that Getting stage. set to receive the slide rooms when they're built. At this point in the process, we're getting more of the electrical connections from the main harness, mm -hmm. ran into things like slide rooms, all the plumbing that's behind the scenes, uh, getting installed, ready to go. Well, that's a pretty interesting looking little room back there, the bonus room in the back. What, what, do you, what kind of space is that? Well, the uh, custom approach on this unit, this room was designed as a sewing room. So a lot of good counter space, a lot of natural light coming in, and then a lot of storage for different material. Yeah. Pretty handy little spot. Very, I can see that as very. an office. Yeah, you could do it as an office. Mm -hmm. um, 
you know, we just get creative. What do you need with you on the road? And mm -hmm. we can make a room work for you. And now what we've all been waiting for, a first look at the new Summit fifth wheel. So this is it, the new Summit we've been hearing about. This and that we're bringing our viewers for the very first time. First time, this is our new Summit. The exterior still has a little ways to go, but I'd love to invite you inside to show you how it's looking in here. It'll head up to paint here in just a couple weeks. Uh, feature a full body paint, very nice new scheme that we've come up with. Um, and yeah, it's, uh, it's gonna be pretty sharp when it's done. So, for sure. Yeah, let's go inside. Let's go in. Take a look. Our new summit that we're uh, about to unveil at the Hershey RV show in September. Um, kind of excited you guys are getting a first look at it today. Uh, this is a 37 IK3S model. We have identified areas that we know we can uh, build more efficiently to do two things for us. Uh, one, we do want to keep our costs down, and two, we want to keep our weight down. We've been able to kind of go on a diet, if you will, but maintain very high quality. You know, there's not an ounce of particle board, not an ounce of press board. This is all true hardwood cabinetry. Um, everything's built in house here, uh, just like our Majestic, um, but we've identified some areas that, um, you know, pre-finished face frames, things like that, that we still give you a, a heck of a product, but we're able to save on the, the material, and we pass that on to you, our consumer, in, in the selling price of it. We're featuring our Select Cherry. Uh, we bring these pieces in uh, pre-finished, and then they're all built and assembled here in shop. Mm -hmm. um, but that does help us save on some costs, not having to hand yeah. stain it in-house. Solid surface countertops. Uh, this one is designed to look like a quartz countertop, which is really popular right now. Uh, very deep stainless steel sinks residential faucets that we use. We use the Ferion three burner cooktop as standard equipment now. Mm -hmm. uh, we also feature a Whirlpool uh, convection microwave oven. Uh, we do have LP fired in-wall ovens available as mm -hmm. an option. Got a nice deep storage up here. Got storage above the TV. We do offer storage in the slide room. Mm -hmm. However, we have a lot of customers request the nice big windows. Yeah. Um, standard yeah. equipment though, Really comfortable residential furniture. It's a theater seat, kind of the console recliner. Uh, and then we also have a sofa sleeper uh, with the sofa back here. And wow. these are available in a few different colors in this line. It looks like, yeah, that would be a, uh, not a bad, comfortable place to uh, hang see. out. Oh, you got that. There we go. Oh, okay. Yeah. Wow. Watching the Samsung 50 inch TV with the sound bar playing, catch a movie in the evening. Yeah, with sports your, uh, games and the, yep, electric football in the afternoon. We've been able to maintain, as you're probably noticing, Jeff, really nice head height in yeah. here. Oh yeah, uh, lots of space. Yep, and that's including dropping this unit's overall height by six inches. So yeah, that's good. Uh, great head heights in here. Uh, you probably notice we've got a queen bed in here. Uh, these are available as a king. Queen is our standard equipment though. Mm -hmm. uh, we've got great storage everywhere. And uh, tell us a little bit about the bathroom. Yeah, the bathroom, uh, it's a side hall bath, so it's all enclosed. We've got a porcelain toilet, standard equipment, uh, very nice, spacious shower. Uh, also of note, a shower head that actually is going to get you mm. from the top instead of right in the chest. So we okay. try to put That's that in idea. as high as possible. That's a good idea. Uh -huh. um, we've got some nice fixtures to choose from, vessel sinks as options. Um, a lot of storage is always paramount in here. Well, Cole, thanks a lot for this look around your summit. It's a pretty exciting looking model. Uh, we anticipate great response at the consumer shows. Yeah, we're really excited to show this off at the show, um, let people know what we can do for them. The new Summit trailer is a smart addition to the New Horizons product line. For more information about the Summit or New Horizons RV, log on to our website at rollingontv.com. Coming up after the break, we'll join Michelle and Lori and the women from the Arizona Border Collie Rescue. We'll be right back. Someone once said, the camping doesn't really start until the RV awning comes out. Whoever said that really knew what they were talking about. Carefree of Colorado celebrating 45 years of RV awning innovation. For more information, 
visit our website at carefreeofcolorado.com. Exploration. It affirms that we are alive, demands that we are present. So let's put our work lives on pause, ramble out into the world, and share the journey with the ones we love. For more information, visit LanceCamper.com. I'm Kara. I'm Kelly. And we are in outside of Wickenburg and at State Trust Land camping, dry camping, with some of our best friends. And Wickenburg is in western Arizona. I founded Arizona Border Collie Rescue 20 years ago. And since then it's grown into rescuing almost 4,000 dogs. We currently own 15. 15 dogs and we have decided to start dry camping, boondocking as some people call it, because we like to enjoy our dogs and our friends without a lot of other people around. We try to bring about half of our dogs when we come. They enjoy camping, they enjoy hiking, they get to play some ball when they're out. And uh, we just get to spend time with them and ourselves and our friends. We have a little side-by-side -side sand car that uh, is, is fun to go off-roading on. Uh, we go out uh, to the, the sand dunes. There's an area of sand dunes out in East, it's actually East California. The rig we chose was a Forest River XLR fifth wheel toy hauler. We originally bought this because we wanted to be able to bring our side-by-side -side car into it. And also it has plenty of room for guests if we have guests. And, um, and there's plenty of room for the dogs when we bring the dogs. And we have handicapped dogs in the back end of our camper. It has a ramp that they're able to get in and out of easily. We do have a website, it's www.azbcr.org and we also have a Facebook page, Arizona Border Collie Rescue. We rescue up to 350 dogs a year and rehome them. We're gonna probably have the number 4,000 dog this year that we've rescued, which is a huge accomplishment. This is Carly and Carly was, was found severely injured and had a spinal cord injury and she has since lost her back legs but she still gets around and is a happy dog but all our fundraising events and things we do for the dogs all the monies go back towards dogs like this we have a rescue calendar every year that all of our dogs in there are from from our rescue and this is one of our fundraising events that we do at Jayco, we're a lot more than just an RV manufacturer. We're all about family. And we've been making family dreams come true since 1968. To see our complete product line and find your nearest Jayco dealer, visit us online at jayco.com or just log on to rollingontv.com. You have a Truma Aquago instant hot water system. You can expect to make a lot of new friends. I talk about the importance of checking inflation pressure in tow vehicle or RV tires all the time but is your tire pressure gauge giving you accurate information? When I was in charge of some large fleet maintenance operations, one of my responsibilities was the tool calibration program. Certain tools required regular calibration to ensure accuracy. A tool every RV owner uses is a tire pressure gauge, 
But did you know when a tire pressure gauge gets banged and bumped around in your toolbox, it's easy to lose its accuracy? I'm getting ahead of myself. Let's start at the beginning. I always say you get what you pay for. Lots of inexpensive pencil or plunge type tire gauges you see at the auto parts store cannot be calibrated, and if the reading is inaccurate, the gauge is worthless. This is a tool you are using to see if the tire inflation on your RV is correct before leaving on a cross-country RV trip. That's why you should spend a little more and get a quality inflation pressure gauge that can be calibrated. Now the question is, how can you calibrate your tire pressure gauge? To do it professionally, you would need some type of standard air pressure reference to measure it against. We all know that's not going to happen, so here are a couple things you can do to test your tire pressure gauge for accuracy. You can check the air pressure in the tire with the gauge in question, and then check the same tire with another quality tire pressure gauge. If there is a significant difference in the readings, three or more PSI, between the two gauges, one or both gauges might be inaccurate. On the other hand, if both gauges read within 1 to 2 psi of each other, the gauges are more than likely accurate. A master gauge is a gauge that is certified to be calibrated and accurate. But I caution you, not all tire dealers check or calibrate their own gauges on a regular basis. Tip: Don't depend on pressure gauges at gas stations to be accurate. These are usually abused and neglected, raising concern over accuracy. There are several different types of pressure gauges available on the market. One important thing to keep in mind is the pressure the gauge is rated for. Most automobile tires are inflated to about 32 psi, so a 0 to 60 psi gauge would be sufficient. On the other hand, some motorhome and truck tires are inflated to 100 psi or more. It is important for accuracy and to prevent damage to the gauge that you get the right gauge for the job. A general rule of thumb is to find a gauge that can read double what the inflation pressure is set at. This isn't always possible, especially with tires inflated to 100 psi, so try to find a gauge rated for higher pressure, like 150 psi. Like everything else these days, things are going from analog to digital. Analog tire pressure gauges were the standard for many years, and some people you talk to swear by them, but advances in digital technology have improved on that standard. In numerous tests comparing different type gauges, digital gauges were the most accurate tested. Regardless of the type of gauge you choose, there are high quality and low quality gauges available. Buying a cheap digital gauge would be the same as buying a cheap pencil type gauge. Here are a few things to keep in mind when it comes to tire pressure gauges. Spend a few more dollars and get a quality tire pressure gauge. If the gauge will be used for checking dual wheels on a motorhome, the chuck end of the gauge should have a dual foot design to make the job easier. Always select a gauge rated higher than the inflation pressure of the tires you are checking. Applying more pressure than the gauge is rated for can damage the gauge and affect the accuracy. If you overpressure a gauge, have it tested for accuracy. Try not to drop or jar the gauge. Store the gauge in some type of protective covering or case and in an area where it won't get hit or damaged. Periodically have the gauge tested for accuracy. At a minimum, compare it to another quality gauge to see if both gauges read the same or close to the same pressure. Most importantly, once you purchase a quality pressure gauge, use it on a regular basis to check your tires. It would be more important to have a calibrated tire gauge if you were checking inflation pressure in race car tires, but even in a tow vehicle or an RV, properly inflated tires are safer, extend the life of the tires, improve fuel efficiency, and lessen the chance of unexpected and premature tire failure. Happy camping. Well, that wraps up this week's show, and for more information on anything you saw on the show, along with additional videos and stories, visit our website at rollingontv.com, which is available in English and Spanish. You can also visit us on Facebook, Twitter, and Pinterest. As usual, this has been another fun production.